Hello, so today's vlog has been with Abby Hutti who is at Airbus working on some really cool Mars stuff and I'm just looking all around this little fake Mars now which is pretty cool so I'll show you more of that later. Would you like to introduce yourself first then? We'll start there. Okay, uh, my name's Abby Hutti. I'm a spacecraft structures engineer for Airbus in their defence and space division. Sounds very exciting. So can you describe an average day in your role and what what makes your day go quickly? <laughs> Average day, it's very collaborative, the work that I do. So we have a lot of meetings. Um, I have to kind of catch up with my team. There's a team of engineers that kind of work and I coordinate all of their work and bring it together and then technically direct them as well. So I have to kind of catch up on where everyone is um, for the day, have a few meetings and games, have any problems and all that kind of thing. And then quite often have things like presentations and reviews with the European Space Agency or um, my bosses inside the company to make sure that everything's kind of on track. Okay, so you've recently been awarded the IET Young Woman Engineer of the Year, is that correct? Uh, it was like 18 months ago. But yeah, that's quite recent. Quite recent, yeah. yeah. So what, what led you to this title then? Um, I guess it's just what I do kind of above and beyond. I'm quite excited about encouraging more people. I kind of stumbled into engineering, really just good luck that got me here. And I didn't really know what decisions I was making, how they'd affect the path that I could take. And so I'm quite keen on letting the people that follow after me make more informed decisions, so helping them understand yeah. what options are available. So it worked out well for you, but yeah. I don't know. Um, but it was really just luck, and some of the, the choices that I made, I really made them quite blind. So um, I'd like to think that now in a position where I can advise young people on what decisions will lead to what opportunities and uh, what would be a good route for them. So I try and talk about engineering and STEM in general mm. and also like the space industry and that kind of thing. Because a lot of people don't realise that there's yeah. a big space industry in the UK. Um, they think that you have to work in the States to work mm. in space but you really don't. So I love going out and kind of talking to young people and students and um, explaining to them so if you had to give a one line piece of advice then to say a 13 year old girl or boy wanting to go into engineering or maybe thinking of going into engineering but not being sure about it, what would you say is like your key piece of advice? <laughs> I think my one piece of, of advice would be uh, just to do your research really. Um, a lot of people have misconceptions about what, especially old people tend to think that it's a dirty manual job. But, try to put people off it, especially young girls, um, but boys as well. They don't really understand that engineering nowadays, there's so many really exciting, groundbreaking, high technology jobs available across loads of different disciplines. So maybe just do your research, have a look and see if there's any projects that are going on that excite you. And if they, there are, then believe in yourself and go for it because uh, it's not what says it is so just don't listen to the haters um go and do it advice it really it's not just cool. engineering don't yeah. listen to the haters yeah <laughs>